just before I get off the stage, I want to say Trimble's been working with Microsoft, I think, two years, close That's to, right. close to two years on HoloLens. It's been a fantastic partnership, and I'm very excited about the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Okay, so today we're going to share a revolutionary technology that we really believe is going to improve productivity and communication for everyone in this room and that we have seen benefits just about every industry that Trimble serves. So one of the things you all haven't re really been able to do yet is bring digital content out of devices into the real world, until now. So Microsoft HoloLens is the first fully self-contained, untethered, holographic computer running Windows 10. So what does this mean? It means that every universal app, Windows app, also runs on HoloLens. But you can also use HoloLens' extended capabilities to solve real-world problems. So what kind of problems am I talking about? The ability to bring scale models and life-size 3D objects and annotations into the real world can dramatically improve collaboration, efficiency, quality, safety, and it benefits every industry that deals with 3D spatial data from architecture and engineering to construction and operations. This means that anyone, including your clients, can view 3D data and models in a really natural and intuitive way, which you're gonna see in a few minutes. Now, in your industries, I know that you are no stranger to cutting edge technology. You have pioneered, you have proven out so many areas of tech that are now a part of daily life. So it's no surprise to me that these industries and you in this room are going to be on the forefront of holographic computing, which is something that will be part of daily life. So working with HoloLens, you're gonna find it's gonna reduce waste in the project and it's gonna increase quality and safety. And maybe most importantly, it's gonna save you time and money because it's gonna increase your confidence in the decisions you make all along the project. So I would guess that for many of you, SketchUp, Trimble SketchUp, is already part of your daily workflow. So I am delighted to announce that SketchUp is coming to HoloLens as Trimble's first mixed reality commercial tool, SketchUp Viewer. Now SketchUp Viewer, paired with HoloLens, it's gonna extend all the value that you already get from SketchUp because it's gonna allow you to bring that digital content that I mentioned into your real world, real time, as part of your current workflow. And SketchUp Viewer is available starting today. So to tell you more about it and to actually show you what this looks like, I'd like to invite on stage distinguished architect and innovator, Greg Lynn, who's already using SketchUp Viewer for his projects. Thanks, Lorraine. Morning, everybody. So today I brought a very exciting project for us to take a look at. Uh, my design firm was asked by the United States Pavilion at the Venice Biennale to demonstrate the power of design and innovation and technology on an abandoned industrial plant in Detroit. Up on the screens, you're gonna see the site we were given. It's the Packard plant. It's been abandoned for about 50 years, but still remains a viable industrial complex, uh, ready to be reinvented for today, and that was the task we were given. So I'd known about the Trimble Microsoft partnership on HoloLens for a while through Doug, and was just itching for the right way to use it on a pilot project. And this seemed like the perfect place to look at technology and imagination and, and test out the new technology. So over here on my laptop, I've got the design open on SketchUp, and you can modify the project with all the tools you're used to on SketchUp. And then behind me, the best way to present this in Venice and the best way to work on this in the office is with a physical model. Um, these physical models can be expensive, the thing that I find most frustrating is I have to wait for them. They're time consuming to make and they take time to make modifications to and once you've made those modifications, it's difficult to reverse them and go back and forth. 
So at this point, I'd like to invite out Sean Wright, who's the creative director of the Microsoft HoloLens Experience team. Hey, Greg. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Sean. So Sean and I are going to demonstrate how we can collaborate on a design review using multiple HoloLenses to experience the project. So by using the collaboration feature, the two of us can be looking at the same model at the same time, in the same space, or even in different spaces. Uh, so I've published the model to HoloLens. So while they're SketchUp. putting those on, let me just make sure you understand what you're about to see. So it looks like there is a blank table right here. Because they're putting HoloLens devices on, they can see the project holographically on the table. And that would be pretty boring for you all since you don't have HoloLenses right now. So we have brought this special camera, and if you look at it closely, there's a HoloLens mounted on front. That will enable all of you to see exactly what they're seeing. Okay, so we can launch that from the SketchUp viewer. Oh yeah, looks good, Greg. Yeah, so now we're in a tabletop view where we can bring the model in, we can look at it from a bird's eye perspective, and we're both seeing the same model in space together. It's a brand new way for us to experience a project and also to focus and talk on specific aspects. So one of the things we can do is take measurements and data off of this model. We'll just take a look at how long the site is here by measuring from here. There. Yeah, it looks like it's just under a kilometer long. This site's huge. Yeah, it's one of the challenging things on a project like this. How do you represent a thing that's a kilometer long? You can only make models that are so big. Um, for this facility, we were looking at using the existing plant overlaid with a system of robotic transportation with university and corporate facilities on the top of the building. So there's a lot going on in a big dimension of space. So for a project like this, we'd usually build a physical model. That physical model can really only tell you so much. Um, and maybe we want to see some of the things we can do with the HoloLens and SketchUp Viewer that'll get us in there in a little more detail. So with SketchUp Viewer, we can quickly iterate on the design and make changes and review those things together. Yeah, let's look, uh, let's examine this area over here next to the water tower. Can you isolate that? Sure, we can isolate a section of the building. Okay, and we can also dynamically change the scale to enlarge certain pieces and look in more detail. Oh yeah, perfect. So now with just a wave of my hand, I've got a larger scale model for us to look at. So we can now focus on specific aspects of the design. Uh, in particular, we were looking at the structural density and the size of the structural elements for some of these upper volumes. And by going to immersive view, we can now step inside and take a look at these things with a first person perspective. Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, this looks great. Can we get some uh, scale points of reference in here? Sure. It's really great. We can call up some people and also some vehicles and get a sense for what it's like to be in here. Oh, yeah. See, this is perfect. Now I can really get a sense or feel the space, you know, what it's like to be in here. Yeah, to have this first person perspective and share it with somebody lets us make all kinds of changes that we might have been making four to six months. We can be doing at the moment of inception and very early in the design process. It lets us see things we wouldn't have seen in a model like that. So the structural frame I was talking about, I can show you one of the options we looked at where we make the tubes a little smaller yeah. and less dense. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, see that looks great. It just really opens up the space and I got a perfect line of sight to the water tower now which is fabulous. That's exactly what we realized when we came in here. So now I can bring this back down to the tabletop view. And those changes that we just made and just discussed are now here in the tabletop review. 
for us to take a look at and make some more decisions on. Yeah, see, that's such an incredible design tool to where we can go inside and walk through the space, make changes, and then bring it to the tabletop and see how those tr uh, changes translate to your design. Yep. That's incredible. Yep. So having the ability to work on these things together to make these important design decisions, mm -hmm. it's really a game changer for me, and it's this bridge between the virtual and uh, the physical is what architecture is about, and this is really revolutionary. Agreed. Incredible. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Lauren. So just to, just to quickly wrap up, so SketchUp Viewer for HoloLens, which you just saw, it takes that 3D content from behind the confines of the 2D screen. And so the intention here is to give the many stakeholders of these complex multi-phase projects completely new ways to visualize and collaborate, to manage change, and to share ideas. And what we found is that you're going to communicate much more effectively, like we saw Greg and Sean doing. You might save weeks or more early in a project. You're going to make decisions faster and then reduce errors and safety concerns. And so like you saw today, innovators like Greg, they're already using these mixed reality tools to really push creativity into new spaces. So I'd encourage you to think of SketchUp Viewer and HoloLens as tools that you can use to optimize your own operations. And the stuff you saw today is not vision material. These are tools that are available right now. So you can buy HoloLens devices on HoloLens.com or on the show floor. You can buy and download SketchUp Viewer. You can get started now with your teams, your projects, and to benefit your customers and clients. So with that, I'd like to welcome Doug back on stage and thank you very much. Great, so, uh, you know, obviously just a fantastic uh, demonstration. Come on up, uh, to, up to the front here. Just wanna end with a couple questions for you. Maybe Greg, starting with you. So, so clearly, you know, we had this architectural design-oriented example. H how do you see this applying in other construction settings? It's interesting. More and more people are asking about how architects are bridging that gap. And the barrier of bearings and CAD and all of that really gets broken by a device like HoloLens, where all of a sudden multiple industries can have access to three-dimensional data, like an architect would, you need an architect for, and in a certain way, you're not gonna need architects for a lot of this stuff. <laughs> okay, great. And, and Lorraine, I think, you know, with the Microsoft perspective, obviously you see this in a lot of industries. Yeah. What are some of the other industry applications for HoloLens? Yeah, so one thing we're seeing from every industry is the amount of investment they make in training and development is a real value unlock for them. And so with HoloLens, what they're able to do is provide training and development for new employees or experienced employees uh, in a really immersive way, especially around equipment that can be hard to reach or hard to access. They can start holographically and get employees going quickly. That's great. Hey, could we just have one more round of applause for Lorraine as we uh, thank the Microsoft team? Thanks very much, Lorraine.